Oops. I don't want that. I want this. And I want this. Okay. There we go. That should just about do it. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a, uh, a Siberia 2 stream. Starting late, like often happens more often than I would like, but it is what it is. Um... So let's see, uh, we are currently uh, in the middle of nowhere um, and we found, we found a dude uh, who, who like buzzed our, our, uh, our pursuer, pursuers, well, they're not really pursuers anymore, they're the, 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 the two guys who hijacked my train. Uh, uh, what were their names? Ivan and Igor, I believe. Um, very, uh, Russian names despite being, having British accents, but, you know, whatever. Um, we'll live with it. Um, so, yeah, so they were, they were doing nefarious things and then a, a, a plane, like, flew by overhead and buzzed him and, I guess, chased him off. Uh, and... There, uh, I I believe, uh, my my memory is failing me, but I believe this is the same, or this is the the a craft that belongs to the cosmonaut that we that we dealt with in Siberia one, um, but I could be wrong about that. And he's over here, hanging from a tree, uh, unconscious as far as I can tell. He's not dead, which is good. <laughs> So we need to wake him up, and the way to do that uh, is, I believe, I need to I need to activate the radio in his in his plane, um, because the idea there is that he's wearing uh, earphones, and the uh, if I turn the radio on, then it should like you know make a noise in his earphones and wake him up. That's the hope, anyway. But, um... Uh... How... How... <laughs> uh... The question is, how do I find his, his radio frequency? It's just showing 8888 here. Those don't seem to do anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so two eight. Oh, okay, okay. And then what is zero three? 
I yeah, I just I just because I just realized my my thought there was that these are these are these have corresponding colors. So they're probably related somehow, which may be a stretch, but okay, so 0 3 2 8. Okay, let me write that down. Hey, hello Mr. Gel. Ah. Also drop my pen. wrote a really huge zero on my notepad because I was scribbling to get the ink flowing in my pen. So it's zero with three, two, eight. <laughs> okay. Um, good. I will admit that I I gave myself a little bit of a nudge with UHS hints before doing that, before starting stream tonight. Because I was not looking forward to spending forever, like, trying to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do with that, with that radio. Uh, how do I do this again? Oh yeah, so zero. Two eight. Okay. Uh. Boris, Boris, can you receive me? Kate Walker here. Wake up, Boris. Wake up. Hey, stop looking my. Oh. Hey, where am I? What am I doing here? Get me down from here. Undo your straps. <laughs> I hope you haven't hurt yourself. <laughs> well, you told him to. Oh, I'm surprised that. Okay, I I didn't. I was assuming that I was going to, have to do something with this too, and the and the and the dish. But I guess I already had it correct. So, cool. That was not even intentional, but I'll take it. That worked better than I was anticipating. I was expecting to have to fiddle around with it some more. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, actually, I think, wait. Is he? Hold on. Oh, yeah, no, he's here. He's up this way. was. He's not there anymore, clearly. Where'd you go, dude? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> I didn't see him. Boris! Ah, Kate Walker. My flying wing is kaput. Totally dinged. I'm pretty sure that is him. Poor Boris. Your flying wing's in a sorry state. But I've flown among the stars, Kate Walker. Not many men can say so much. Hans Varlberg has been kidnapped. What did you say? Two hoodlums have kidnapped Hans Varlberg. I'm chasing after them. Poor Mr. Varlberg. I'm sorry to say I don't think I can be of much use. I understand. I've got to catch those felons, come what may. Hans's health is no great shakes, you understand? It would be a pleasure to help you, Kate Walker, but I'm not too sure how. You know, just be another warm body. Be, uh, be, be some backup. My train is at the bottom of the mountain. I've got no other way of getting down there. And my flying wings at the Menders. Kind of... Landing's always been my weak point. <laughs> You're sure that I really can't use your flying wing? Does it look like too I could use it? Too. I knew flying would be irksome, so I flick the switch and ping. Ejection. Maybe there's a way of using the co-pilot ejector seat. But 
You're going to have to slip her into manual control mode. Hmm. I'm going to find a way to activate the ejector seat. Okay. I'll stay here, just in case. How would that help me? Yet, yet, comrade. Those coordinates will send you straight into the cliff. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So it's it's horizontal vertical. Uh huh. I didn't think I'd see you again, Boris, I must say. Lady Fortune's one fickle dame, Kate Walker. Boris. Could you help me to use the manual control system for the ejector seat in your flying wing? You find the direction on your target and enter the coordinates. I'm sorry to say the radar is on the whack. See you again, Boris. Oh, maybe that's Good what luck, the honey pie. Maybe that's what the dish is for. Yeah, it definitely sounds like that guy was supposed to have a Russian accent. <laughs> Considering he's, you know, a cosmonaut from Russia. His name is Boris Charov, and he just, and he just said, yet, yet, comrade, to me. <laughs> but they're like, nope, American. <laughs> Maction! Long time no see. Okay, so... All right. Well, I guess let's just point the dish in various directions and see what happens. Mac hug! Oh, wait, I have right here. I have a thing for that. It's actually still taped to the board that you sent it to me on. Because <laughs> I have not taken it off. But. Back hug! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh, that's how it is sometimes. Okay. So that's the... That's that. Doesn't look like it's picking anything up. Yeah, no, I get it. No, no worries in that regard. There's plenty of people who I wish I could watch more often, but schedules just don't line up. Ah. Okay, so it got something. So I guess somewhere between 50 and 100 um, for both of them. Let's just see what happens if I do it over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's more accurate because there's actually a dot there instead of just a random ping. Okay, so that's like right on the line. Um, what is that? Let's see. So it's like right there. I love parser-based adventure games. I grew up on them. Um, 
And uh, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for text parsers. Uh, okay, so let's see. So it's like... One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's like 50, Sixty, seventy, eighty. 80. Okay, okay, so 60, 70, 80, 90, so 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's going to be 80. 80 horizontal and um, Twenty vertical, if I'm counting correctly. Michael Ford, hello. Okay, so twenty vertical, eighty horizontal. Let's try that. Write that down so I don't forget it. Doesn't exist. <laughs> You will not need to use the word blank in this game. <laughs> um, there's actually a, there's an indie dev um, uh, under the name Icefall Games, who's been doing a lot of really interesting things with uh, with with parser based um, interfaces, um, like. Uh, most notably. Um, Autocorrect or not autocorrect, but autocomplete. Um, so, like, if you start typing a word, it will it, it will automatically, like the he's he's worked out a system where where you can get like a text parser to automatically complete what you're what it thinks you're trying to type, um, so that you're you spend less time like messing around with like correct spellings and like correct and like trying to guess what the game's terminology is for a specific thing. Um, And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> wait, what? Didn't, wait, sorry. What, what connection? <laughs> I missed something. <laughs> I'm confused now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd see you again, Boris. I must. Lady. What do I have to do to use the ejector seat? Find the exact direction of your train and enter the coordinates in the system. See you again, Boris. Good luck, honey pie. Please don't call me honey pie. Okay, so I believe it's... That's... Oops, that's... Uh, we want that to be 80. If I'm not to written this correctly. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I, that that was immediately where my brain brain went. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bang on target, Kate Walker. Sweet. You'll land right in the dining car. Let me help you with those straps. Can I have a helmet or something? I really would have liked liked a helmet. <laughs> I'll take a parachute though. That's not the dining car. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Who wants a belly rub?
You know what? I'm gonna save after that. Sounds like a good seems like a good place to save. God damn it, phone. How do I get perception out here? <laughs> Hello. Miss Walker? This is Colonel oh. Emilioff. Do you remember? From Romansburg? Colonel Emilioff? Yeah. Um, why sure. Uh, how did you get my number? No matter. Miss Walker, I'm calling you because mm -hmm. a gentleman came to see me. An American detective. He asked me a lot of questions about you about the train and your friend, Mr. Borrelberg. Naturally, I told him nothing, but... Colonel, you have to slow this man down any way you can. We are in Russia. It is winter, and when snow sets in, time starts moving very slowly. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if this man ever finds you, Miss Walker. Good. Thank you, Colonel. That's what I like to hear. I love him. Oh! Oh, Oscar! <laughs> that was pulling the friggin' sword of the stone! <laughs> sword out of the stone. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's not looking too good. Oscar, are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Kate. Kate Walker. G greetings, ma'am. Pull yourself together. We've got to find Hans on the duck. Hans? Hans Borrelberg? Yes, Oscar. Hans. I saw Hans stretched out on a sled being pulled by a snowbite. Ivan and Igor kidnapped him. I am sorry I was unable to assist, Kate Walker. I attempted to interject. But the fat brute applied a punch to me, and I found myself in the snow. Applied a you punch to me. Could. Now we've got to do what we can to catch them. Okay, good to see you again, Action. Sleep well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Your week. Until we meet again. <laughs> you feeling a little better, Oscar? Not really. I'm frozen, Kate Walker. Yeah, I bet. But you'll warm up. Don't you worry. The cold has paralyzed my wheel work, Kate Walker. I need like a um, flamethrower. <laughs> or just like a butane torch. Some, some, maybe not something as, as drastic as a flamethrower. <laughs> I hope that the collapse of the bridge hasn't damaged the locomotive too badly. I fear the worst, Kate Walker. I kind of do too. We absolutely must catch those two creeps. I would gladly help you, Kate Walker, but I fear I am less than functioning. Let's make tracks. We've got maybe one chance left to catch those bandits. I don't think my utility levels are very high right now, Kate Walker. But there must be some way of making you right. I don't know. I really don't know. Oscar, try a little bit. We're not going to get out of this mess just by hanging around. <laughs> Kate Walker, my mechanical system has not been designed for long periods in the snow. I fear I will not be able to drive my locomotive. I'm going to try to find something to help you. I'll be back here right away. I I I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. It really seems that Kate frequently forgets that Oscar is an automaton. <laughs> it's not a question of trying. <laughs> if mechanical systems don't work, they don't work. <laughs> no matter how hard they try to work. Oh gosh, okay. Is this the actual... Uh driver's compartment? That's cool. All these controls. Nothing works without the key. This train's useless without its driver. 
all these all these all these all these okay A fishbone and a Russian doll. I don't think either of those will be much help in, uh, in snapping Oscar out of it. Maybe get some hot water in the, the bathroom. Well, I kind of doubt the water is working. <laughs> Ooh, this bathroom is uh, kind of trashed. The whole train is kind of trashed, to be honest. Poor train. It used to be so nice. <laughs> is that fan still running? <laughs> Oh. Wasn't there something about... That's odd. Looks like some sort of panel. That's... Wasn't there something about uh, Hans, like, did something to this... This mechanism? I forget what exactly he did to it. Ooh, all right. Plan of the train. Uh, uh -huh, okay, sure. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. and pieces oil dispenser oh that'll probably help with Oscar actually I don't see anything down here that looks useful so Suppose that's odd. no. There's one more place I could go, and I want to check out before I. Yeah, this way. No, we're not. <laughs> That's just back here. Okay, so there's just two places to be. All right, gotcha. Oil can! Let's see. Now that is a relief. Thank you, Kate Walker. 
Now, if you will kindly take your place in the passenger car, I can carry on. <laughs> what did you just yeet over the top of the train? <laughs> I guess that was the oil dispenser. What if I need that? Rude. But I want to come up here in the engine compartment with you. I want to see how you how you work the train. Oscar? Kate Walker, you are making us lose precious time. Do you have frozen articulations? Uh, no. Then climb back in the train as quickly as possible. We have to catch those rogues. Oscar? Kate Walker, uh, then... All right. Bossy pants. Bossy britches, I should say. <laughs> Here's my Yuki. Yuki bear. That didn't sound good. I demand an explanation for this bullshit. Oscar, what's going on? We cannot continue our journey, Kate Walker. The passenger car is stuck. That's what happens when amateurs manhandle my engine. What are we going to do? There's an uncoupling system on the car. I'm going to open the access panel on the locomotive. Call me when you find it. Once the panel is open, you will just have to activate the mechanism to unhitch the car. So we're going to leave this car and everything in it behind us? This is a sacrifice we must make, Kate Walker. Aww. Regrettable, I know. Okay, I'm off then. Wait for me before you set off again, okay? I will never leave without you, Kate Walker. Thanks, buddy. Oscar. Why are you dawdling, Kate Walker? Go and attend to the train uncoupling system. Okay, okay, I'm on the job. My stupid yawn faces. <laughs> There's no way I can get to the mechanism without somehow keeping this panel open. Oscar, I'm in position. Very well, Kate Walker. I will trigger the mechanism to open the panel. And you must activate the mechanism to unhitch the car. Agreed? Roger that, Oscar. Okay, so then... Oh, 
it scroll through? Oh, right. Uh, I don't. Oh. Oh, okay. It's one of those puzzles. Is it really Kate Walker we're chasing here, sir? You're pissing me off, John. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Kate Walker, the lawyer. The one with the brilliant career prospect. That Kate Walker's dead. We're chasing some other kid. Someone we don't know anymore. I've got the family on my back every day, John. Kate Walker's got to come home. <laughs> Still wondering why they, why her family went through her job and not just directly to the police themselves or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I wondered that too. <laughs> did that Yuki get to? Yeah, it's always Kate Walker, Kate Walker, Kate Walker, never Kate. Ms. Walker, frequently. But, but never just Kate. <laughs> Seems like another good time to save. Let's wander off into the blizzard. That sounds great. Great walker. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this. If this was any other adventure game, this would be sure death right here. Okay. Can't even go that way, so... Oh, hello. Random person in the middle of nowhere. Who, what, what, what are you doing? What's your deal? Who are you? Hey, hi there. <gasps> Whoa, easy cowboy. Oh. Igor, anyone there? <laughs> oh, so that's the, uh, that's one of the brothers. What's gotten into you, Igor? Have you lost the plot? <laughs> I... I don't know. I'm cold. And I'm hungry. And there are spirits. Aw. See, Igor's a good guy. He's just being led around by the nose by his dickwad of a brother. What was that? Spirits? <laughs> you know that spirits don't really exist, don't you? Yes, yes, Yuko sh shamans summon spirits, make us stop taking ivory. Okay, so don't take their ivory. Me don't want their ivory. Ivan want ivory. Me, I want go home. So Aww. why are you still here? Buddy. I'm scared, scared of evil spirits. Also lost Big as heck. Boy like you and all? Well, I guess I've seen it all. <laughs> Where's Hans? Hans? The long guy? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You kidnapped him. <laughs> we left him on the snow bike. 
Me and Ivan. We went up a hill. Then I came down. Old man was gone. Vanished. But that's impossible. He was very weak. It was like I say, lady. It's the truth. Why did you steal the train? Ivan said it'd take us to Ivory. That we'd be rich princes. I'll be back, Igor. Watch out. W -w -w Watch out for spirits. Evil spirits. Buddy. Ugh. Not a fan of how, um... Featureless this, uh, location is. Oh boy. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Oh, I th this is where I started. Okay, so actually, before I, before I wander around in the middle of nowhere, let's go this way first. <laughs> Oscar. What's going on? I don't understand, Kate Walker. The tracks lead us into a direct collision with this hill. I found myself obliged to activate the emergency brakes. No chance you shunted the switching by mistake? Are you insinuating a logic gate error on my part, Kate Walker? Absolutely not. How very dare you. You be in fine working order to me. Then I reiterate, Kate Walker, we are on the correct route. <sighs> We must find Hans. We are at the end of the line. It would seem that our voyage is at its end, Kate Walker. Then we'll continue on foot. I fear my articulations would not survive the ordeal, Kate Walker. I found Igor Burgoff. Burgoff. What? That is... ignoble brute okay. who attacked me so savagely? He seems to be terrorized by the howling wind. Oh, that lily livered. <laughs> we can't all have your indomptable courage, can we, Oscar? <laughs> I'm going to try to find Hans. Good luck, Kate Walker. But, Oscar, can't we get just a bit closer? What? And drive ourselves into that hill? I'm afraid not, Kate Walker. I refuse. The Yuki must have smelled something. Did you see how quickly he left? And good riddance. Moreover... Large animal companions are forbidden on this train, Kate Walker. Anything you say, Oscar. <laughs> I'm off now, Oscar. I shall await your return, Kate Walker. Whatever's going on over here looks interesting. Phone? Yes, Oscar? Kate Walker! Have you heard that plaintive howling? Be on your guard. There is surely some wild beast stalking the land. I heard it, but it didn't sound much like an animal to me. All the same, I'd rather stay here and watch the train, if you don't mind. No problem, Oscar. I understand. You're not supposed to be out in the snow anyway, so... Cool. <laughs> no point doing that. Do you go in there? No. That's those dreadful brothers' snow bike. That's the. Okay. And Hans is not in it. Ooh.
fish something. Gauze blanket. Can I have that can of fish whatever? I'm sure the I'm sure the Yuki would love that, whatever it is. of time it's too slippery hmm. <sighs> waste of hmm okay I need like um pitons or something. Okay. Igor? Oh. Oh. It's y you. Is your snow bike still working? Oh yeah. Lucky. Without that. I'd like to borrow your snow bike to get me to the top of the hill. Oh no, slope too slippery. Ah. Never get there. You need go up on foot with crampons. And you do have crampons. You can lend them to me. I can't do that, lady. Ivan will get angry. Ivan isn't here. What Ivan doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> hey, come on. Calm down, Igor. You know, that noise, it's just the wind. Breath of death. Wind of devil. No, just the wind. I think you'll find blowing through the totem making a weird noise. Oh, okay. Pity. Pity poor Igor's soul. Igor don't want to die here. Oh. Oh. Gotta find some way to shake him out of it. I'll be back, Igor. Watch out. Okay. In that case... Okay, so there's only like a few places to go. It's not actually that. It looks worse than it is. Stuff that in your face. And there we go. Pro problem solved. <laughs> Igor? Oh. Hey, why are you still here, Igor? Evil spirits holding me. They're very angry. They want to keep me. But all the evil spirits have gone, Igor. Huh? Yeah, I told them to skedaddle. <laughs> no, no. The spirits are screaming. Listen for yourself. They've all gone. Uh, no. But... I can't hear them. Like I said, look, maybe you should skedaddle here too while you can. Thank you, Miss Lady. <laughs> Miss Thank Lady. Thank you. Time for Ego to go far away. I'm cold. I'm hungry. I go home. But where are you going? Bye, Lady. Hey, wait. Crampons. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, don't do me any favors in return. Oh, there we go. Okay. It happened conveniently. Hmm, these should get me up the hill. 
to drop out of the snowmobile, I guess. Cool. I wonder how easy it is to walk in those. Ooh. That's a lot of bones. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fight! Back! Back! <laughs> okay. Save time. <laughs> time for the uh, the Yuki or or Igor or Oscar to mount a, a daring rescue. Oh, how much you want to bet this ice is gonna break? So here she is, Kate Walker. <laughs> Brave Kate. <laughs> Walker. What have you done with Hans? Where is he? The old crazies disappeared. The vanishing gnome trick. <laughs> no. Uh, really? With your brother Igor, I suppose. Huh. Blundering fool. So he let you pass. Dumb ass abandoned his guard duty then. Your brother has decided he was better off without you. He has abandoned you, Ivan. Yeah. What? He's gone? Nah. <laughs> if he has, then good riddance. The tub of lard only ever tied me down anyway. So tell me, where is Hans Varlberg? I told you, I don't know. And what's more, I don't care. <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> perhaps he was eaten by a bear. What's it to me? You're a disgusting creature. Why are you doing this? White gold, sweet lips. Mammoth ivory. This old crazy was obliging enough to show me the way. And our riches and glory are all mine. <laughs> Listen, Ivan. The ivory doesn't interest me. All I want is to find Hans. Let me go. No way, my little rosy bud. You'd shoot me in the back first chance you get. <laughs> With what gun? And you want to tell me why you're sitting around here? Your hobbit friend says the legendary <laughs> Yukov village is someplace round here. So you see my lovely cherry pop? I shit, I watch. And I wait. But Hans is in danger. Cherry pop. Do I look like I care? <laughs> I told you to stay put. Hey, watch it! Stay where you are. It's okay, it's okay. I'll stay right here. What is it what's it gonna do to me? <laughs> None of that with me, you little whore. Hey, now. Where's Hans? Uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'll stay right here. Stay where you- Hey, watch! Uh, it's okay. Okay. Hmm. Fishbone? Stay where you- It's okay. I said back! Don't make me get nasty, girl! Um... Cell phone? Oscar, I've got Ivan here right in front of me. And he ain't looking very friendly. You've got to come and help me, please, Oscar. I fear that I hardly constitute a force of dissuasion, Kate Walker. I don't care, Oscar. Use your head. I, uh, oh, my, uh, I have to guard the train, Kate Walker. Oscar, get up here now. Up there? Oh, but there is all this snow, Kate Walker. <laughs> As you know, it is most distressing for my wheel work. 
Oscar, this man is ready to crack my skull open, so I'm asking you to come and help me, or you'll be scooping my brains up with your metal fingers. Yikes. Uh, I will see what I can do, Kate Walker. Well, do quick, Oscar. <laughs> Funny that he just stood there and let me call someone. What the hell is that? N Anyone tries anything funny, and the consequences will be very messy. What does this embassy want? Give me whatever those are. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, ah, that. Knifey, knifey. Cutty cutty. Ah, nice try, street walker. <laughs> but this time you've gone too far. Your journey stops here. Nah. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't our detective is on her trail, Mr. quite what I was expecting. You'll see your daughter again in just a few days. You've been telling me that for weeks, Marston. Mrs. Walker. Come on, out with it. You've no idea where she is. Oh, Kate, my little baby vanished. <laughs> she, Oops. Maybe something's happened to her. <laughs> Mrs. Walker, please. What gave you the twisted idea to send an innocent girl into the Siberian wasteland? It wasn't me Marston, who... Marston, I hold you personally responsible for the disappearance of my daughter. You hear me? You'll be hearing from me. Mrs. Walker, listen to me. I have heard it up, Marson. <laughs> How does it feel, Marson? <laughs> oh, hey. Gratuitous naked s s scene. <laughs> At least it's not a shower. Dang, nice bed. A little creepy. Still nice, though. Ooh. Yeah, I was expecting the ice to break under, um, under Ivan, not under me. Also, probably another good time to save. This looks like a mist room, like a room that you would find yourself in, in in a mist game. Yeah, this whole place is like mist, mistacular. <laughs> Antlers. Hello. Hello. Kunuk Mark Tuktut. Me? Kate Walker. Um Ice Wall Fall. Oh boy. Where are we in Siberia? This is Yukol village. Kate Walker fall very hard on soft head. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen my friend, have you? He's small, very old. I take care of Kate Walker. I not help her friend. I'm looking for Hans Vorlberg. Where has he got to? Hans is here. Where's here? Where? Hans stay away. Him maybe voyage over. What do you mean by that? Hans he is very sick. Where is he? Yes, we do With that. Spirit woman. He prepared final leaving oh no i have to please can i see him oh 
Oi, oi. I not disturb spirit woman. Too strange. Well, she doesn't scare me. Where is this spirit woman? Listen, drums, Kate Walker. Say, chief, you wouldn't have rescued anyone else, would you? No. Just Kate Walker. Hmm. Well, I wonder what happened to old Ivan Borgov. Oh, eaten by spirits, Kate Walker. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Good. My train is stuck. Could you help me? Yuko's up there already. Oh, thank you very much, Chief. So this is the Yuko village? You fall on head. You call heel head. Me, great chief. Mm, th thanks a lot. Farewell, great chief. I'm going to find my friends. You are Yukul guest, Kate Walker. Aw, thanks. Hello, sir. Kunuk Mark, Kate Walker. Can't go up those stairs? Darn. Okay, wait. Uh, let's look around here before I leave the screen. Okay. Okay. This place is so cool. That's the um the arc. Oh. Yuki.
Hello. Hi there. Kunukmat. Tuk tuk. My name is Kate Walker. And you are? Nanuk Metal. Tuk tuk na. Nanuk Tuk Tut? Nanuk Metal. Tuk tuk na. Huh? I hope it isn't me you're scared of. Bek Nanuk Metal. Bek Bek. Tuk tuk na. 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 Tuk tut. Yeah. I'll remember that one. You don't understand me? Makta yijak. Bek nanuk metal na. I've got to say, I don't understand much either. It's just a train. A metal train. Yes, like Oscar. Bek metal. Yeah, that's it. Tuk tut. It is not dangerous. Thank you. You are too kind. Kulit, tuk tuk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen. Like, the train is actually supposed to go through the hill. <laughs> What's this? Oh, we got like a hooky, ropey thing. It's much too heavy. I'm gonna need some help to pull it to the train. Hmm. Hi, Oscar. Oscar. Kate Walker. But where have you been? I was, I confess, somewhat worried by your absence. But I'm here now, Oscar. I'm starting to worry, Oscar. You still haven't found Mr. Forelberg. I fear the worst. Even so, he is unlikely to have strayed far given his condition, Kate Walker. For sure. But where? Haven't you noticed, Oscar? The hillside is hollow, and the tracks lead right inside of it. Hmm, yes. It is indeed a strange situation. The hill trembles, then a gate opens, and some of the local inhabitants exit. They even came right up to the train carrying a cable. I spoke to them most correctly, but they ran away. Baroom! <laughs> I really don't see why. You've got to get us up and running, and continue down the track. Impossible, Kate Walker. The engine springs need winding. I fear that we can advance no further, unless you expect to find a winding mechanism around here. I must say, I find it somewhat strange that Mr. Farrellberg had not foreseen that eventuality. Yeah. Maybe he did. Hmm. Have you found a way of entering the cave, Kate Walker? Not yet. I get the impression the Yukels are afraid of you. And why? I am not afraid of them. <laughs> They've probably never seen an automaton with your degree of perfection before, Oscar. Most certainly not. Automatons like me don't grow on algae, you know. <laughs> I'm off now, Oscar. I shall await your return, Kate Walker. Okay.
right. Okay. So the train is supposed to go along this. These tracks here. Down that way. Things stuck. Hmm. Nope, that doesn't work. That might be the winding mechanism, actually. Just have to get the train far enough. A frequent problem in these games. It's a ladder. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, right. Okay, that's this. Oh, this is different. That's a different ladder from the one I climbed up before. This place is um, bigger and more confusing than I was expecting. <laughs> Is this now? Oh, hey, there's a um, preserved mammoth right there. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. I can see where this is going. I'm guessing I don't have everything I need. I probably... Alright, I probably also need, like, a reason to do that. <laughs> so, you know, I'm doing everything out of order because I I haven't gone to see Hans yet. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I don't know, what is that? Here's another mammoth. Where are we? 
place to go. Oh, here, what's this? What is this thing? Oh, it's another one of those weird things. What on earth does that do? I don't know. Okay, well that was a whole bunch of mysterious things that I don't know what to do with yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll have a reason to come back there. In the meantime, can I check out this cool structure over here, whatever this is? Oh, this is just... okay. This isn't, this isn't what I thought it was. I thought it was like a cool like house with like a skull out in front. Sneezy kitty. Okay. Some dead end train track here. What the heck is all this for? Okay, this is where I came in, I believe. Yeah, because this way, I went this way, right? Yeah. Well, I think I should do want to go that way, but let me... I've been following the left wall, so I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, I think that's the arc. I guess that's the, I guess those gates are like, that's what like lets the arc through. This hard thing. Oh, okay, another one of these things. I need something else to activate it. This is where I was before, I think? Yeah. Okay. Kind of have my bearings now-ish. Gonna forget them and as soon as I need them. Oh, another strap and a slingshot. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, so I just I just put that together without any prompting. 
I just put in the leather sling uh, onto, the, onto the reindeer antlers. Interesting. That's how you combine things in this game. You just <laughs> the game just does it for you. <laughs> That's convenient. Well, that's an interesting way to uh, prevent people from getting through. <laughs> huh. These stairs? I feel like I should be able to go up these stairs. No, I can't apparently. Hello, sir. Hunuk Mark, Kate Walker. Where is Hans? Behind drums. How can I stop the drums? Can't stop drums, Kate Walker. Spirit woman, talk with spirits. Farewell, great chief. You are, you could. Nevik Link. Yes, I did. What's that? I suspect that I'm going to need to stop these things remotely, like, perhaps by stopping the water? How the heck would I do that, though? I am inclined to agree on both points. <laughs> They're very, like, stereotypical uh, Inuit. Uh, looking, um, but like all the lore surrounding them that the game has has provided us with is really cool. What's that? Have I looked at that already? Oh yeah, that's where I got the leather strap. And their village is awesome. <laughs> up these staircases to this upper level but the game seems to not want me to do that
haven't been here. Just like the Yuki pen. One thing I did not try doing is go back out into the middle of nowhere. Because that's still an option according to the cursors. Hi, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. So, Kate Walker, have you found Hans? Not yet. Not yet. I'm off now, Oscar. I shall await you. Well, I know generally where he is, so I don't know how to get to him. Could you help me pull the cable, please? The cable. The rope. There. 
Nanuk Metal, Tuk Tuk Na. Hmm. Oscar's no help to me. He can't walk in the snow, poor thing. So I need your help. Nanuk Metal, Na. Yes, he is Metal. He's an automaton. But he's really not dangerous. Really. Big Nanuk Metal. Clearly, this is something of an obsession. Oscar won't hurt you, I promise. Makte Ijak. Bek Nanuk Metal Na. I've got to thank you. Kulit. Tuk tuk. Hmm. Didn't I have a. Uh... There's something in here, I think, about... Yeah, that. Hi, Oscar. Hello? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh god. <laughs> I clicked out of my window and I lost my mouse cursor. One sec. Uh, uh oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Ah, sorry. Reorganize my stuff. There's that, and there's that. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> my uh, my mind drifted, and I was like, <laughs> uh, Well, then what the heck am I supposed to do? Um, oh, let me, um, there's one other thing I haven't done. I haven't messed around with that rodent in the ice wall or whatever that's, whatever's going on there. I can't remember where the hell that was.
Oh yeah, it was this way, I believe. Really finding myself wishing for a fast travel of some sort. In these very long, very walky sections. What am I supposed to do here? I don't understand. This is another one of those things. Which I can't do anything with. I think something's supposed to go in that uh, triangular cradle thing at the front. I don't know what to do. If anybody has a suggestion, that would be great. Thank you. So much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anybody is still paying attention and uh, has some thoughts on how I can make progress, I would love to hear them. a barrel roll. I would love to. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yes, by all means, deal with your own shit. Guns are unfortunately not an option. I don't have access to any of those. I have a slingshot. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some like tiny pixel on one of these like 8 million screens that I'm missing. Like something I just have not seen to pick up or interact with or something. I go up those stairs. Apparently I'm not allowed to. Oh, you know, um, Harfang gets everywhere. Hey, that bird's still following me. <gasps> it is. Looks to me like it's been sitting on that perch this whole time. The Harfang and the voles. I think we're mentioned here, yeah. Oh, lemmings. Feed on grains, the small fruit, they store in their holes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Um, it, it seems like a purely Kate task to me. Because the whole point of... So the train needs to be pulled into the village. 
Um, but um, I need help to attach the cable to the train. And the two Yukols nearby won't do it because they're scared of Oscar. And I don't think Oscar will do it either. I, I couldn't even, I didn't even give him the, I wasn't even given the option to ask him, I don't think. Um, God, this place is so cool, but I, I hate that it's so huge. <laughs> And, like, the two places that I can go and talk to people are so far apart. Yeah, I'm guessing Oscar won't set foot outside the train until the train has been pulled into where it's supposed to be, into the hillside. Hi there. Yeah, they don't say anything else to me. I can't, I can't even try to lift the cable anymore. Hi, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Mm, yeah, no, he, he won't help me pull the cable either. <sighs> um, maybe I'll talk to the chief again. Doubt the chief has anything new to say, but worth a check anyway. This place have to be so fucking huge. <laughs> like the the cool factor has quickly worn off <laughs> and turned into oh my god, it takes forever to get anywhere. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, sir. Kunuk Mark, Kate Wilkin. Your men seem afraid of my driver, Oscar. You call afraid of Metal Man. Bad spirit. If Metal Man outside, you call stay indoors. Farewell, Great Chief. Okay. I'm going to find my friends. You are you cool guest, Kate Walker. In that case. Again, hmm. yeah, can't believe I have perception out here. Kate Walker, could you please explain to me what is happening? Hans Varlberg has arranged everything. I'm going to take the train down to the underground village. It's really quite beautiful. A straight answer, if you please, Kate Walker. Is this, or is this not, the terminus for the train? Uh, I don't know, Oscar. I don't know. Okay. See you later, Kate Walker. <sighs> and I'm gonna haul my ass all the way back out there. Because I can't just say things to Oscar in person I ha or on the phone, I have to talk to him in person. I've said it before and I will say it again, this game really loves backtracking. Or the series really loves backtracking. <laughs> yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> Hi, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. And nothing, of course. Uh. At least there is a run option. That's nice. <laughs> this would take so much longer if there wasn't. But yeah, I really, f I find myself really wishing for that, for that uh, feature that some games have, where if you double click on an exit, your um, character will just teleport straight to that exit. Hi there. Kunukma. I had the same thought. I don't think it is. Hey, Snow Crane. Um, but let's see. Maybe it might be. No. Uh, let's see if I can... Because the only thing I can really do is, is, sh is show the book. The, not the specific image, but that might be enough. I 
Oh, well, I'm almost done, and also I started late, so... Uh, running a little later than I usually do. Not really a late night stream, just a slightly later shifted stream. Nope. Can't show it to you. All right. Uh, well, I hope there's nothing else that I need to do with Oscar or those two guys in the cave mouth because I do not want to come out here all. <laughs> I do not don't want to come all the way out here again. I'm probably gonna need to anyway, though. In fact, I'm definitely going to. I just. Um, I guess the the question is which is the the the, sol the puzzle I'm supposed to be looking for a solution to now is it this puzzle or the the uh, the problem of the drums? So I think right now it's going to be the drums that I have to focus on. Um, but I do not know. how I'm supposed to get past them. Like I said, my, my thought right now is to stop them somehow. And it looks like they're powered by water. So if I can stop the water, that will probably stop the drums, right? But I don't see any way to get to the water. that before. Oh, okay, this is new. What is this? Is this new? Or did I do this already? Oh no, I think this is I think I I got something from here already. I don't know what it was though. Did I get something from here already? I don't know. I don't see anything here, so I must have done something here already. I see nothing. Okay. Drums, you're really pissing me off right now. See, so yeah, this. Oh, wait, what? Is that like a, what is that? Yeah, yeah, they're like tied to one another. Okay. Slingshot. Okay, oh good. That's what I was worried about, but if, if I can't, okay. All right, okay. That was it. That was it. Yeah. It was that simple. I, see, I was warned. I, my assumption was that I have a slingshot, but no ammo for the slingshot. So I'm gonna have to find, you know, some kind of like, a, you know, something to to um, to put in the slingshot before I can use it. But that was an incorrect assumption because there's just ammo all over the place. Apparently, <laughs> good to know. 
Uh, right. So, yeah. Uh, well, that's a good place to to end the stream then, because um, uh, it's about two hours, and uh, we'll probably I don't know if we'll finish this game next week. It, I, I'm I'm getting the sense that we're we're close to the end. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll yeah. I the, <laughs> I was worried about that. I was like, oh well, I guess we'll just have to look for it next time. But no, yeah, I've managed to like like squeak out a solution right at the end of the stream. That's a good feeling. Um, oh, I should say before I stop, <laughs> that would be a good idea. Saving the game. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll pick this up again next week, and uh, tomorrow is a one must fall in two thousand ninety seven day. Uh, we've already finished all these story modes, but my plan is to uh, show off one thing in story mode that I haven't done yet, and then uh, we're going to go for fire and ice, um, which I have never successfully done before. Well, I've done fire. I've never done ice before. You'll see what I mean tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see how successful I end up being. And yeah, that will be it. And let's see. Who is playing something cool today? What do we got? What the heck is that? <laughs> Never heard of that one. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> Plenty of people are streaming Stray, which is fantastic. Ooh, and then we got Taco Adventure, who was playing The Secret of Monkey Island. So I'm going to send you over there because I got to finish a. Oh, looks so like the special edition. But yeah, always always great to uh, to go from a one point and click adventure game into another point and click adventure game because that's all I, I'm all about point and click adventure games and also parser adventure games and just adventure games in general. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, thank you for coming, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Take care. Stay cool if you are in a hot part of the world. <laughs> Stay warm if you're in a cold part of the world. Either way, maintain temperature equilibrium as best you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.